Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Matt, and today we're working a problem from the Civil PE exam from the Water Resources Breath section. So let's dive in. Water flows at a rate of 400 CFS in a concrete rectangular channel, N equals 0.015, with a slope of 0.3%. Calculate the normal depth of the flow, assuming the channel uses the best hydraulic efficient cross-section. So to solve this problem, we're going to turn to the PE reference handbook. And at the time of this recording, we're using version 1.2 of the reference handbook. And we're going to look specifically at section 6.4.5.1. And in that section, we're given Manning's equation. So I'll write that down. That's going to be important. And Manning's equation given is Q equals 1.486 over N A times R subscript H to the two-thirds times S raised to the one-half. So let's look at this and plug in what we have. And we'll call this step one. Be two steps in this problem. So this is step one. So Q is the flow rate, and that's given in the problem of 400 cubic feet per second. So I'll write that in. And then 1.486, that is a constant. Manning's N value, well, that's given in the problem as well. It's a rectangular channel, concrete, with an N value of 0 0.015. And then area, well, we don't have an area, so for now we'll just leave that variable blank. H hydraulic radius, look up in the problem statement, we don't have that either, so we'll just write that in as a placeholder for now. Slope S, well, we're given that in the problem of 0.3%, so we'll change that to 0 0.003, change it to decimal form versus the percent where it's given and that quantity is raised to one half. Now, in order to get the area and the hydraulic radius, it's very simple, but we need to pick up on one key, key statement in this problem. And it says that the channel uses the best hydraulic efficient cross section. And so in step two, if we look at the PE reference handbook at section 6.4, Point five point four, we see that there's that section overall is called flow and channels. But what we see is there's a series of tables in this section, and there's the best hydraulic efficient section table. And you see there's the most efficient hydraulic section for various shapes of channels. So in this case, in the problem statement, we're told that we have a rectangular channel. So if we use this chart at 6.5.4, we can see that the area for the most efficient section is equal to 2y squared. And for the most efficient rectangular section, the hydraulic radius, r subscript h, is equal to 1 half times y. So if we plug these variables back in to Manning's equation, we now have everything we need and we can solve for the depth. So let's go ahead and plug everything back in. We have 400 cubic feet per second equal to 1.486 over 0 0.015 times the area. Well, we said that was 2y squared. We'll use parentheses just to keep everything straight. The hydraulic radius, well, we said that was one half y, right? We said that, found that from our table. And remember, from Manning's equation, this quantity is raised to the two thirds and then times our slope, 0 0.003 raised to the one half. And so we solve this equation for y, and we, which in this case represents the normal depth, which you're being asked to find. So y, the normal depth, is equal to four point six feet. And if we look at our answer choices, that is closest to answer choice C. 
So I hope that helped you. And if you're looking for more practice and review in your civil PE exam prep, head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com and check out our ultimate civil PE breath and depth review courses. And we'll see you there.